Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So tonight I'm just down in my indoor growing space and I'm just in the kind of the planning stages of what I'm going to be growing indoors this winter using the crack key hydroponic method. So I just thought it would be good to show you all the different seeds I'm going to be starting and how I set them up, uh, get them ready to go into their containers. So the way I like to set up my seedlings is to use the rock wall here and I'll leave links to all the different things that I'm going to be using here tonight. I like to put my uh, rock wall right into the net cup that I'm going to be eventually putting it into anyway. Just it works as a good way to kind of hold the rock walls um, in place and then I can also label the net cup with what I'm going to be growing. So I've gone through and written out everything that I'm going to be planting on little labels, stuck them to my net cups. I've had this rock wool soaking in water so they're well saturated. This one is going to be for three kinds of cucumbers and three kinds of peppers. So once I got this rock wool good and saturated, I'm just going to place them into the net cups. So the cucumbers and peppers will likely go into a larger net cup once I get them set up in a in a container. But I like to just use these uh, two inch ones. They help hold the, the rock wool steady. They are easy to keep track of what I have growing here. So that is going to be for cucumbers, peppers. I like to always like to grow some arugula. I got some butter crunch and a couple different uh, leaf blends of lettuces. So I've been doing my lettuces in a three gallon size Rubbermaid tub in which I have four holes cut out that fit these two inch net cups. So I'm hoping to have two of those set up so I have eight uh, seedlings started here. So I usually put a couple seeds into each just to make sure I get germination. So I've pre-labeled these already so that I just can stick my seeds right in there. I like to just sometimes just wet a toothpick or something. I'm going to probably just put two in each of these. If it turns out both of them germinate, I usually just have to cut one of them out. These sweet mini bell peppers I grew outdoors this summer and I take, took these from just from store-bought mini peppers that I purchased last year and they seem to do well in my outdoor garden so we'll see how they do indoors this winter. I got these Cray Jalapeno pepper seeds in a seed exchange a couple years ago. I grew these jalapenos indoors last winter and had a nice harvest off of them as well. So I'm going to try them again this year. So I have three varieties of cucumbers that I'm going to try to grow indoors. Um, it's always best to try and use ones that only produce the female flowers so you don't have to try to to uh, do any pollination with them. So I'm going to be using the Diva, the Quarantine, and the Puccini. As you can see there, I just put two in there and I have no idea which ones I just put in there. <laughs> Sometimes I can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, so this is the Quarantine. So I better make sure I have the right seeds in there. So I'm using a couple takeout containers here that um, work really great because they also come with these plastic domes. I like to keep these on top just to keep that humidity level high and the moisture in which will help with germination. So I've got them set under the lights here. They're about you know two inches away from the lights and I will just be sure to keep these 
moistened and keep an eye on them over the next 7 to 14 days and watch for germination. Okay, so here we are on day 10 and a lot of these lettuces are coming along really good now and we see some roots coming out of the bottom. So they are getting very close to being ready to put into their uh, crack key containers. So stay tuned for future videos coming to the channel where I will be showing you how I plant these up in their crack key containers. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how I get my vegetables set up for my indoor garden using the Kratky hydroponic method. Please leave a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thank you for watching.